right, coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. This is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 198 pounds, fighting out of Cape Town, South Africa, The Flash! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 28 wins, 13 losses, and one draw. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, ready to go with round one. Shades of Vitor Belfort circa 2013 for this young man. He's won his last three fights, all of them by vicious knockout. We'll see if he can keep it going here tonight. Outstanding kick there by Shogun Hua. That was a nice combination there. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick and decided to come. Well, he told us on Thursday you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, the only takedown is there. His ideal fight is a crime as ugly as... Whoa! He needs to... Oh! throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Immediately gets the underhook. Another punch to the head. He's Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh, 
you can hear oh. them. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Beautiful diving strike lands. Oh, he got a bag. Oh, look at him jump And in. just like right. that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. What a performance. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, 19 seconds of the very first round. To play the winner by knockout. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce. Here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, also, most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.